The Honda Civic is going through a complete redesign for 2022, and now thanks to Civic11.com, we have official patent photos for the next generation of the Honda Civic hatchback. Here is a first look. By the way, if you want to see the thread yourself on Civic11.com, the URL is in the description of this video. Take a look, and I want to give a big thanks to the poster. The Honda Civic is one of the most popular cars on the road today due to its comfortable drive, its spacious cabin, and its polarizing looks. Unfortunately for 2021, Honda removed the coupe in favor for the hatchback, which is deemed more practical. However, the current generation of Honda Civic hatchback has a polarizing look that turns off some buyers. And because of that, it looks like Honda went back to the drawing board and for the 11th generation of the Honda Civic hatchback, it has been toned down quite a bit. First, let's look at the pictures of the 2022 Honda Civic hatchback by itself, and then let's look at pictures comparing it to the current generation of the Honda Civic hatchback. Looking at these two pictures, you could tell right away the Civic hatchback has definitely been toned down. The front end to me looks more like a cord with longer and sleeker headlights. The grille is also much smaller. The back end is a huge departure from the current back end. The edgy C-shaped taillights are gone and replaced with a flush and less polarizing design. And you do see a LED strip in the middle. The huge bumper grills and fins are gone and so is the flow through wing and also the spoiler on top. Now there is a small little integrated spoiler on the trunk lid. At this top down side angle, the Civic hatchback definitely has a similar vibe to the discontinued Honda Cross Tour. Moving to the front and side, you can see the front has a very flat and low hood and there isn't many angles or sharp edges at all. Everything seems to be smoothed out. There's no sculpted body panels anywhere. The headlight design doesn't look very aggressive either. It's as if Honda wants to go back a few generations for the Civic, making everything look neutral and bland. The side profile to me has an awkward look due to how low and long the flat hood is. The rear end, again, looks very much like a Honda Cross Tour. Looking directly at the back, the new Civic hatchback looks more like a crossover SUV than a hatchback. The taillight design is refreshing, but again, just like the front, everything else about the back is neutral and bland. No sharp edges, creases, lines at all. Next, let's look at comparison shots of the 11th gen to 2022 versus the 10th gen to 2021. There is a huge difference when you put the two next to each other. It is very noticeable how aggressive the current generation is and how bland the new generation is. The aggressive middle grille is gone and replaced with something much smaller. The lower bumper with its giant grille openings that resemble an angry mouth is also gone. The sculpted hood is gone as well. Even the longer sleeker mirrors is replaced by larger rounder mirrors. Now looking at the backside, huge difference. The aggressive lower bumper with the grille openings is gone. The edgy taillights with the integrated floating spoiler is gone. Even the roof with the integrated spoiler is gone as well. Here is a better shot directly of the back comparing the two. The back of the 11th gen hatchback kind of looks like the rear end of the new Mach-E or a Challenger. The polarizing rear end of the current gen is completely gone. There is no resemblance that could be seen and that could be a good thing because this look is turning away some buyers. The new rear end is definitely more neutral and caters to the masses. However, just like the front and rear, it's so neutral that it can get lost in the mix. Moving to side comparison, it's clear that new generation is larger. The hood is longer and the rear tail section is also longer. The front of the new generation is flat like the current Accord. The new windshield is less raked which probably gives a better view from the inside but from the outside makes the new profile look more wagon like. There's also a new rear quarter window on the 11th generation and the rear doors do look longer. And as you can see the top spoiler and the floating taillight spoiler are gone. And finally, this is what the next gen Type R will look like. 
The huge wing returns, but it's smaller and looks more integrated than the current generation. The bigger wheels definitely helps with the stance, and the front bumper definitely improves upon the generic front end as well. And here are a few more shots of the brand new Type R in camouflage. In camouflage, it almost looks like this is a Type R sedan rather than a Type R hatchback. The compact sedan slash hatchback market is definitely catering to the younger generation. Just look at the current generation of the Civic, Corolla, Forte, Elantra, and the list goes on and on and on. I personally don't know if moving back to a more neutral mature look for the Civic is the right move. I review many Civic over the years and I think the current generation of Civic is the best compact sedan slash coupe slash hatchback to get. If you're interested, I link some of the reviews at the end of this video. So what do you think about the new next gen Civic hatchback? Do you like the look or do you prefer the current generation? Leave your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more first looks, news, and reviews.